This Good conference afternoon. will now be recorded. Good afternoon. This is Barry Emsey. It's about 2.45 p.m. or 2.47 to be exact on August 31st. Uh, we add one addition to our offering, which is NQ6. So now we have to rename a file. We just want to make sure that we, so our basic package, which is NQ uh, Elite, which trades both three NQs or 30 MNQ, uh, it will be called NQ3 because we have NQ6 in there. So I'm going to show you what to do here as you go and download the file. The file that you're going to download from the website is uh, this one. So file name doesn't change. But notice we downloaded here about 12.22 P, uh, Eastern. It was good. The way you get that is obviously you go to a website. Uh, come on. Okay. Website. Okay. This is the website. This is your landing page. I'm going to make sure we're connected. No, we're not. You got to make sure you're connected because it's a 20 minute login. Uh, you go there and here's what you download. Okay. If you click on that, it will download this file. Now, within it, it's got different things in there. So let's go and install it again. It comes down, you get these functions, indicators and strategy. You could see we have NQ3, NQ6. The issue is about this one. The MNQ doesn't gonna change, indicators are you already have. That the NQ6 is new, but that only applies to people who are using NQ6. And you say finish, it's gonna write over it. You say yes, all, it updates everything. Boom, step one, you're done. Let it finish there. By the way, it's running in the background. I'll show you the tab. We're done. Okay, now, step two. You open your ELD file. ELD, uh, that's the, not to open the code. You can, it's encrypted. But you have to go there and build and hit verify all. And this kind of uh, make sure the machine this was created on, match code gets interpreted fine-tuned to the CPU you're writing. Even though I run on a different machine, I'm just running it here too. So it applies to this machine. If you're using AMD, you must do this. Otherwise, you're going to get a hodgepodge. Okay? And I would urge you, make sure you're using Wintel. Windows 10 or 11, always Pro, and uh, use uh, Intel chip. If you have AMD, you have AMD, but be aware in the fast markets when it does it, Hardware call, you might miss something. That's up to you. So, Marcus, uh, Trade Station has always been a Wintel shop. So are we. We've always been a Wintel shop. You know, I, I don't have any AMD machines. I don't allow them, any of my staff to have AMD machines. They all have uh, uh, Windows with Intel. Uh, right now, we're using Windows 11 Pro. Yeah. So make sure it's always Pro for communication. This is going to finish in a few minutes. So we're going to let that done in the background. No, it won't let me. Okay, do it like this. Okay. Next is we're going to go to here. Once that's done, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And you need to know, see this. The red line is correct and shows yesterday. I'll do a page down so you could see. Oh, no, no page up. I guess. I'm sorry. Page up. So you could see this trade. If you don't this trade, this is a $6,800 trade. At max, it was 10 grand. You got to see this with a yellow line. That's your checksum. If you don't see, you have a problem. Okay. Let's see. Did this thing finish? Almost done. Okay. No worries. Then once it's done, we come here, go to the studies, and make sure two things. I've already put the TSW file up there on the uh, website too. But I would go to studies. See, now it's finished. It reapplied. I would do now. You, I would go to uh, edit the studies. One second. Okay, we're going to edit studies. This should be finished by now. Yeah, this is finished. You close that. You can open the code, but you have to re-verify. Okay, so I go here, edit studies. No, not that, sorry. My bad, sorry. That's the next step. Open the studies, go to edit studies, and make sure you have these. Now, these are a couple of extra indicators you need to have it if you if you care to, but you have to, that's a different package. But uh, but the strategy equity is theirs. You can run that. Okay. It should be there. And you want four six indicator. Okay. There was a little problem in it last week. We fixed that. It's there. We send you a note. 
We repacked it again in the file we sent you. The repack is that DLD file that has everything in it. Take that in. We're good. Go to now the next level, which is edit strategy, and you want CNQ3. If you're running NQ or MNQ. The NQ6 is one person, same rule applies. You can do six NQs or 60 MNQ. Okay. If you're running MNQ only, if you bought this smaller package with two weeks of chat room, then that should that should remain. It should be MNQ. Do nothing. It replaced it. Once you do a verify, all you're done. This is the three things you want to do. Now, one more thing: settings. I see a lot of I do team view on your machines. I see a lot of errors. This should be unchecked. If you want to check for back testing, this should be on minute. One minute. Okay. Back testing here. This should be checked. Okay. And that field on top. Okay. Automation. You want to make sure you have this. And hit I hit this as default. We're good. Save it. You're done. Any questions? And then you're ready for tomorrow. If you don't see this, you email us for yesterday. You email us so we can get to you tonight. But you have to be available tonight. You can't tell me, oh, I got to take care of this or that. No, no, no. Because I cannot help you tomorrow morning. We don't do tech support at the open. You, if that, we want to have advanced time. Have an appointment. Do it orderly so we can help you. Okay? And you need to be proficient. How do you, at Trace Station, how do you do that? Watch the videos and do it. Make mistake. You can't break anything. If you're not getting this, Today, nothing is running. You can come back and say something is wrong. But please, be ahead of a curve, not behind it. Okay? Second step again. Which second step? You mean the stra edit strategy? You have an MNQ. You do nothing. It should be there. You go to a strategy here. Make sure you have MNQ. Shows MNQ. I'm using an NQ3 because we're running NQ. If you have MNQ, you can only run uh, nine NQ MNQs. It's a small package strip. Then you, of course, you have to to arm it. You're not armed for arming. Automa automated execution on. Uh, set to that off. Then you go to properties, not customize. If you're changing your size, like let's say you have MNQ, you can do three, six, or nine multiples of three. It's in the manual. You can use a customize for that. That's the only variable input. If but but you have to check this setting. Make sure it's a user, it's a unchecked. Otherwise, it's, it goes to put you in a back testing mode. Don't do that. You want real time. You don't want that. You don't want. You want to do one minute bar estimate of what he did. You want real time so it hits your target. You're out. Automation. This should be on this section. Check here and all these three. And if you hit set default, it stays there. So that's automation back testing. I will take check this on and the first button. And this is good too. Okay, the, this but that's for backtesting. And in general, you want to have this thing set up for backtest to be one minute. Okay, you can't do one tick because you won't go back enough. That's it. You hit OK. Now th with this done, it does that. It checks a minute. You go to yes, yeah, green. When you go green, you're ready for the verify. Oh, you go to ELD, the ELD file. Okay, go to build. You hit verify all. And if you say OK, it's going to take you some time. Depends how many files you have in there. Mine, I have a lot. So it takes a little bit longer. And it checks everything, whether it's a function, whether it's a strategy, show me, whether it was by you, by by me, by another third party, or by trade station. It verifies everything. This forces the CPUs to match. Okay, And then I would apply it. I would do this first. Then I would bring it into the screen. Okay, and for that you may have to remove and then add, but that's the safety. Anything else? Any other question, please? Okay, somebody sent me something privately. What is that? Ah, okay. No, if you do it, you can sign up for NQ6. If you sign up for NQ6, it's a different price. We'll have NQ9, but we have a gentleman who's done very, very well. It's been with us. Only 60 days. And he up, moved up to six. And later on, he wants to move up to nine. Yeah. If you want to move up to six, send me an email. I'll tell you what you do. And we'll refund the unused portion of NQ3. Yeah. And then it goes up to, obviously, to six MNQs, 
I'm sorry, six NQs or 60 MNQ. Price is one four. Price is one four nine nine per month. Nothing. If you look at the power it has. NQ six price is that, and uh, for nine will be over two thousand. It, it goes up a little bit linear, not linearly, more than linear. Why? Results. Results speak for themselves. You're going to make a lot of money. We want a little piece of it. But that's NQ6 price. If you're interested, you send me. I'll send you the link. It's not on the website. Because we want you to start with NQ3 first. Yeah. Yeah. But that you can go there. Yeah. yeah. Remember, October, November, December. Remember last year? Yeah. Big guns. Big guns. It goes crazy. Yeah. That's the time. You don't want this to do this in the summertime. You want to do this in the fall or uh or, or uh, Q1 uh, of the next year. Any other questions? Okay, I'm ready to close this. I'm going to post the webinar and then send it to you guys, okay? Thank you so much. Bye now.